One of the most common things we get asked to do here in the studio right now is to record and film live performances by musicians. This video is about an acoustic guitar recording and filming we did some weeks ago and there are two things that I want to touch on during this video. The first one being the recording technique we used and also some thoughts on the filming process which was done using a gimbal which is something somewhat new to me right now. Okay, so the project was a solo guitar, three songs uh, recorded while being filmed at the same time uh, with one camera moving all around the place on a gimbal. As far as the sound goes, we did some tests to find out what uh, suited the better the guitar here and we ended up using the mid-side technique, which was something that we haven't used a lot here, but because the guitarist uh, who recorded the songs is also a sound engineer, we want to experiment a bit uh, and uh, we think it turned out really, really well. So after testing several different positions for the microphones, which was to the left of the guitar pointing at the 12th fret, about a drumstick away. We found that this position was the one that better represented the guitar and the playing. So for anybody who hasn't tried it, the mid-side technique consists of two condenser microphones. Here we used two large diaphragm condenser microphones because these were the ones we liked more. The one microphone is pointing straight to the guitar and uses a cardioid pattern, while on the second microphone you need to use a figure eight polar pattern and point the null to the guitar. Then what you do is that you duplicate the second microphone, you hard pan its copy left and right and you flip the polarity on one of the channels. The result is a very weird phasey sound, which on its own sounds very disorienting to me. However, when mixed subtly with the main microphone, the result is a very nice uh, stereo spread, which also translates really well to mono, because when you sum it to mono, essentially the side microphones cancel each other out. So that was the technique that we wanted to start using more here in the studio. And uh, the nice thing is that the first results were really, really promising. Regarding the filming, we decided that the best thing to do was to do a one take of the live performance because we thought it would highlight uh, the playing part uh, and also look uh, much nicer than a camera on a tripod. One of the difficulties of this approach is that uh, in order for everything to work, uh, the camera work uh, has to be on par with the live performance uh, so that uh, they can blend together and give a real nice uh, final uh, result. So after doing a recording session one day, I wasn't really pleased with the results that I got out of my gimbal work because quite frankly, it's something that is really new to me and I'm still trying to figure it out how to do it the best uh, that I can. And we decided to do a second session and uh, that was uh, when everything went right uh, and we had a really great result in our hands. Anyway, I will have the links to the songs down in the description so that you can check them out. I really hope uh, that you will enjoy them as much as we did uh, when we were making them. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Talam and I'll see you in the next one.